Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with my last layout using my October Noel Mignon kit which is called Apple Crisp and I loved this kit. It was so just full of autumn vibes. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. <laughs> okay, so this one, we are doing a challenge this week and we all made our own Pinterest boards to use as inspiration for our layouts for this week. So I did create a Pinterest board. I will leave it linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. But I really, it was Outlander themed. And the reason I did that is because I have this picture of myself watching Outlander and drinking a cup of tea and I have a candle lit and that's kind of my favorite thing to do when I have quiet time if I'm not reading. <laughs> usually when I get my girls to bed, that's that's what I do is I, I make myself a mug of tea and I usually light a candle and I watch some TV shows that I enjoy. And you know, Outlander is definitely one that I am enjoying right now because it's on again. So I took a picture of myself doing that one night and thought it would be fun to use this kit to document that because of all the fall colors and there's some plaid in there. So I can kind of really go for like an Outlander type of theme here. So that's what I did. But again, if you want to see the full Pinterest board, I'll leave it linked down below. You guys can go check it out and see where my inspiration came from. Okay, so um, I have that green cardstock that I used and the green paper that I cut down um, to put down the larger piece there is from Jelly Bean Soup. And then the plaid checker and that white wood grain there are both from Jen Hadfield. And all of that came in the kit. Um, I'm using mo majority of the kit. The only thing I bring in that is not from the kit is the cork elements there. And that's just because they were very specific for this layout. Okay, so I'm going to use some of these acrylic pieces here from uh, Pretty Little Studio, I believe. And then I'm going to cut out a couple of these little die cut pieces from Pretty Little Studio as well. Uh, the gray one there says, um, this is the good life. I have that little green label and then a little one that says today. And then this little uh, pattern paper here from Jelly Bean Soup, I'm going to cut out a couple of these mason jars with the flowers in them and I'm going to use two of them. I cut out three but I only end up using two. Uh, but one says home and one says hello and I think I pull out a love as well and I can't remember. Um, I know I use home for sure, because this is, you know, about me relaxing at home. And I, I just can't remember if I use love or hello. So we'll see <laughs> when I get there. Okay, so I'm going to use the thickers that came in the kit, and I'm spelling out quiet time, and that is going to be my title here. And then I have those little acrylic pieces, and it says love my, and so I'll put those above, and it's going to be uh, love my quiet time. So I'm just pretty much documenting, you know, what I do during my quiet time. And that really is one of my favorite things to do, just to sit down after, you know, our days and just relax. And, you know, I have a mug of tea almost every single night, so it's nice. And I had to take a picture because Jamie Frazier was back on my TV and I was so happy. <laughs> if you guys like Outlander, you understand my happiness. Okay, so I placed that sticker there, and that's from Jelly Bean Soup from the sticker sheet, and it says, this is my happy place. And um, I went ahead and fussy cut out all those die cuts and stuff, so I, I cut it out so you didn't have to watch me do that. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this piece of washi tape down underneath the picture just to kind of build a little shelf down here so I can start uh, putting my um, embellishment cluster. So I'm going to use that little mason jar that says home with the label and that's where I'll do my journaling. Now these cork pieces here are from my stash but uh, the one up, tie, up top there, sorry, the little triangle says downtime and then this one here says me time. And I wanted to use those up because it's just perfect for this layout. Even though they didn't come in the kit, they're just perfect. And I did have cork on my Pinterest board as well so that's how I brought that element in. And then I have this little um, cork tag as well. Um, okay, so I used the mason jar that says love. So I'm going to go ahead and build that little cluster down there, get that started. And then the sticker up at the top where the triangle is um, says home sweet home as well. So that was nice. So I'm just kind of tucking these in here and there where they're going to fit. And I really like the way that they all kind of fit around what I already have there. So that's nice. And then I have these three acrylic stars um, from the same package 
as the words. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in each of my little clusters here. And I'm using glue dots to put those down. I'm going to go ahead and use this bow. And then I'll do my journaling. Just talking about what I like to do in my quiet time here. And then I'm going to use some of these Prima gems. So I will use a couple in each little spot here. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to do an outline of the brown plaid paper there. I just feel like it needs a little bit more definition. I didn't ink the papers because I didn't think I needed it, but then the more I looked at it, the more I just want a little bit of definition just on this one. Um, the other papers are fine, but just this one. I wanted just a little bit more of a definition there. And then that's going to be it, guys. That completes my layout. So um, if you guys want to check out my Pinterest board, I will leave that link down below. I will also leave Noelle's site and her um, kits down below. If you guys want to go check those out, please do. They're fantastic. And I will see you guys again later. Bye.